And over the past several years, the city of Akron, Ohio, has turned into a virtual melting pot since thousands of refugees and migrants from countries like Syria, Iraq, and Burma have settled in that city, now calling it home. Many of them came with their children who are entering the American schools without knowing much English. So a middle school, Jennings Community Learning Center, came up with an idea to help unite the refugee students with their American classmates through chess. We're joined by the team coach, Joan Cook, and Ala Alhamad, a seventh grader, a refugee from Syria. Thank you both for your time. Joan, why did you decide to coach this team? Well, we actually decided to start a chess team four years ago, and we did not realize how much it would improve our students' friendships with each other, it, you know, and we don't see any segregation on the chess team. It's it's just amazing. It's 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 really been a wonderful, wonderful thing. And Joanne, how challenging is it to have kids on the same team who may not even speak the same language? Most of them do pick up on English very, very, very quickly, and. So, and we, we also have ones who have been here longer than other ones, so we can ask them, can you tell me what, you know, Ramesh is saying, and things like that. Yeah. Joanne, why do you think chess brings people together, kids together? Chess is just a, a language, in, it's the same language in every country. Everyone who, you, you can teach them how to play chess even when they can't speak English because it's something that you're using objects and a lot of them also have come from their countries already knowing how to play chess. Now, Ala, I understand your family left Syria because of the war. How hard was it for you to come to the U.S. and start at a new school? Hi. Coming, living first in the war, like we thought we would never go out of Syria, and like, but we got to the point that we cannot handle the war. So my dad decided to take us to Turkey and just let us live there safely. And then after that, a refugees company came and because of my sister, is sick, we signed that we want to go out of Turkey, and then we came to the United States. Coming to the United States was like a dream for my whole family, and for me especially, living around people that speak a language different than us, and coming to a school that all of it kind of people that I don't know how to speak their language and communicate with them, make conversation with them. It's like really hard, but in six months, I, le I learned some English and I started to speak and make conversation with them. And I made a lot of friends. And Ala, is it the first time you were playing chess or you knew how to play it before? Um, that's not the first time, like since I came to the school, uh, I started playing chess. My dad plays chess, and that's like his favorite game. And I used to practice with him. So when I came here, like I knew how to play chess a little bit. And then the, my teachers, like Miss Cook and the coaches, taught me how to play chess. And what is your favorite thing about being on the chess team? Traveling and to other schools and communicating with the new people. Well, thank you both for your time. It was great talking to you, Ala, and I believe you speak great. I understand every single word you said, so great. Thank you so much for your time. Thank and, you for uh, having And we continue with more information today. And after the break, Ivania Garcia 